It's bus day here in Traverse City, and we've been a little busy cleaning out my bus. If you look, there's some seats lined up over there. And uh, they're not light, but they're not crazy heavy. Let's go have a look at them. All aboard! So there we have it. We've got one, two, three, four full rows and an extra pair. Um, unfortunately, they're missing the bases, but they are Tropic Air. Correct vintage seats. Oh, wait. Look at that. There's another Silver Sides. It's bus day here. Pretty cool. So Sage is going to pick through which ones he wants, and then... Um, I have multiple potential buyers lined up for the rest. There's two different styles of seats we found. Um, if you look at the footrests, see, those are all one cast aluminum piece, whereas these have like a tubular rail with a, a separate foot spot on it. Um, so yeah, silver side seats. Seat sale, literally.
Roger. So this brings us to the end of our joint venture. It was certainly a memorable five weeks I spent traveling with Sage. We certainly had our challenges, but we managed to have some good fun along the way. From here, I departed and headed to my next stop near Ann Arbor. There I spent a few days visiting with some friends while waiting for my export paperwork. After that, I make a run for the border. Just had her first hand wash bath. Looks a lot better. Got a lot of the grime off the sides that the pressure washer didn't take off, came off by hand. So that's good. She's looking pretty good now. A little bit of WD polish on the siding and she'll come up real good. Oh yeah, seeing the engine bay. That came up real pretty too. Everybody loves a clean bus at sunset. Inside's starting to come along bit by bit. Getting some work done to the inside. So, look at that. Ready for a fresh start. So here I am, the next morning, getting ready to leave for home. Said my goodbyes to my friends and pulled out of the driveway. And here we go, home to Canada. Here we are, we're just about home. I pulled over for a sec so I could start the camera. We've got a really strict hands-free device rule in Ontario, so I came to a full stop to start the camera. 
park the bus on the shoulder and now we're rolling again. We're the last two miles on the stretch to home. Everybody was wondering about how customs went. Customs was fine. Uh, it was more difficult getting the export paperwork cleared through the U.S. Customs than it was Canadian Customs. Um, they came out and fully inspected the bus. I had to open up all the bays and they're just doing their job so I can't fault them. Um, so that took a couple hours by the time I cleared both sides of the border. And uh, customs people were fine. Uh, bus is fine. She's uh, officially an immigrant into Canada, which is great. Uh, it might be hard to hear me because I'm wearing my mask. I have to quarantine for two weeks and I was told I had to wear a mask for the trip to, from the border to home. So I'm complying with everything I've been told to do. So once I get home, I park the bus and unfortunately I won't get to enjoy it for another two weeks. So a couple more turns, a couple more miles. We're almost there. I'm sure my family, my wife, will be happy to see me. Look at that, I got the down gearing down. Amazing after uh, a couple thousand miles of driving. We're officially a Silver Side owner and driver. Customs isn't a problem, you just have to know what paperwork that you need to do and you have to follow the rules and you do everything as you're supposed to and everything works out fine. Colors are starting to change here already. It was warm when I left. Wow, it's pretty. I've been away from home for five weeks. Quite the journey. So my wife knows how far away I am. I expect she's going to be out on the front lawn waiting for me. Hopefully the cars are parked so I can get this into the driveway. I don't want to have to move it too many times. Although I might park it on the road for a few minutes to let it drip. We've got our oil leak under control. I'm going to have to tear down the governor to figure out why it's not draining properly. Uh, that's all it is, the governor is just not draining quick enough. So it's just coming out that governor tube. Very, very little out of the airbox. A few drops when you park. The uh, airbox pulled the covers, as I mentioned in an earlier video, completely clean uh, inside the blower. Um, there was a little bit in the bottom of the airbox, but not enough that I really should be concerned about. I uh, went for the phone a friend option and uh, we talked to the bus grease monkey about that and uh, well, he instructed us what to, what to look for and we put all back together and we've just been monitoring it drove it and uh, so far so good um, we're just about home so I'm quite excited to get the bus home it's the uh, end of the first part of our journey we just get the bus home and from this part of the journey it's just going to be restoration and then travel so it's it's been an absolute blast I guess it's been a nightmare too so good with the bad here he comes guys So this brings us to the end of part one, the bus rescue. The bus is home without any major problems. All of the preparations we did in Minnesota worked out well. I want to say thanks to everybody who helped along the journey. Uh, Sage, the bus boys, bus old man Phil, Scott the bus grease monkey for his advice while we were on the road, and to my family for allowing me to go. Like and subscribe to continue the journey as we fix up the bus and get it ready for travel. Thank you for watching.